Now it's time to play a little and we're going to create an ortho from one of our 3D models. So I'm going to walk you through the steps to set up your models, your scales and display options. So let's start by opening our 09 model. And we're going to come up to our ribbon menu and choose the create ortho overview panel. So what we're going to do is create a new drawing and we're going to call this 0903 ortho. So I'm going to turn off our paper check, our cut lines and our match lines, and we're just going to take a look at setting up the views. So first let's come into our 3D model selection and we want to make sure that we have our equipment and our structural turned on. So let's start with just doing a top view. And I'm going to change this view here where I'm going to just drag this out a little bit. I don't want to include the secondary tank in here. So let's just move this out right along here so that we can eliminate something. Just have this piping shown. So that's what I want to see in my plan view. So now I'm going to change to my front. And we're going to do this by volume. So do I want to see everything that's included, including the footings or everything just from level zero up? And I'm going to leave that as is. I want to see everything. So I'm going to come back to our top view. Make sure that you're looking at the top view on your ortho cube. And now we're going to just do a few more settings here. Do we want to see match lines for this? I'm going to say sure. Let me just see the match lines. And we don't have to worry about the cut pipe symbol because we're including everything in this view right now. So we're not having anything being sectioned out and we don't have any cross sections and piping running through elevations. So now we're going to come to our hidden line piping and we can play a little with this. So I'm just going to say show all hidden lines. Now let's look at our paper check and zoom out just a little bit. I'm going to hit my paper check to see the size of my title block and think, well, I've probably got a little bit of room in there to make this bigger. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to change my setting here from 316. So let's take a look at 38 and see what that looks like. Play a little more, look at a quarter. I'm going to go with a quarter inch. That looks like a fairly decent size. Now, when I'm ready to actually go ahead and create this section or this view, I'm just going to come up to our create button and say create. Now, what you're going to have the option to do is to drag the viewport. This is actually going to contain our view and we're going to place that somewhere in our drawing. It's going to run through and create that flat 2D section and you see it works pretty quickly. Let's zoom in a little bit and take a look and see what we have. So you can see the scale relative to the title block is what we kind of picked. Because we did have it set up to include the match lines, it's placed the match lines using northings and eastings based on how our model is situated in model space. It's gone ahead and created the plans. Now notice we didn't include the vessel that sits off to the left. We're only seeing exactly what it was that we specified. And when we asked for hidden line, we can see that we do have the hidden lines shown in here, but we're also getting the grating. So we do have the option to play around with some of the visibility in here. But you can see it's very easy to create that drawing. And I'm just going to quickly show you in here. You don't have to do this, but I'm just going to change my tile mode to one. I want you to take a look at what we have inside. We actually do have a completely flattened image of our model. So I'm going to place that back to our home view again. And I'm going to change our tile mode back to zero. And there's our ortho. And that's just the one plan view. In the next lesson, we're going to make it look at making some modifications and adding some additional views.